Uh, we're back again, and the spider now is all in position and centred. Um, I will point out at this, this stage that if ever you're doing anything to do with using tools, um, with it, be it just even just collimated uh, using Allen keys, uh, especially if you're messing about with nuts and bolts and stuff, always have your telescope in a horizontal plane, always have it going across ways. Never ever have it stood on end and looking down on it and working because at one point you will drop a tool, a nut, a bolt, whatever, it will go down your telescope and it will mark your primary mirror and if you're anything like me you'll just run upstairs and cry. So always keep your telescope uh, in an horizontal position. Um, you know, else otherwise you're going to be kicking your dog and all sorts if you if you mark your, your primary up. Now you might notice here um, there's until something been added uh, and this is one of my little tips if you can get hold of a piece of studded bar that is just right for fitting in that into that boss in in your spider uh, and and just use a couple of nuts and washers to hold it in position you can put a laser collimator into your into your focuser and your laser collimator should be hitting your bar you know, right in the middle of your bar so that you know now that your plane down your focuser is going right down that vertical plane um, of, of where your spider's held in. It, it doesn't do anything for sort of your upsy downsies, if you like. Uh, you're still going to have to revert to the steel rule and everything. Um, and like I said, I'm going into some stuff a lot deeper than you need to. Um, there's a really good, simple collimation video. Uh, though there isn't. There's not a video at all. There's... <laughs> There's a tutorial, a collimation tutorial on uh, Mel's site, Astro Babies, um, which I'll post a link to that uh, it, during while I'm putting these videos up. But uh, it's just a little tip there that you can you can use a piece of studded bar, uh, and this is just a piece of uh, M5 with um, some washers on and such like, and you can just like I say, you can place it in, in and you, if your laser's hitting that, you know that everything's sort of in flunter if you like um, right I'm going to fit the uh, the mirror back in now which again I'm going to stop video and see as an example I've just dropped a washer uh, which would have gone down the tube and hit the primary and like I said you'd be crying uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the the secondary next and then we'll start into getting that all lined up um, like I said we're covering sort of a lot of things here and a lot of it is unnecessary for just basic collimation. Uh, you start to get what's commonly known as collimation OCD, um, where you're starting buying books like this. Uh, this is the uh, New Perspectives on Newtonian Collimation by Vic Menard, and I have to say it's a hard read. So, um, you know, you, you, you can go to whatever stages you want. And like I say, it can become an obsession or it can become a part of your hobby. Um, if, you know, if, if the weather's like bad and you know that you're not going to go out and you want to be doing something, uh, then, you know, by all means, you can sort of mess and fiddle and, and do whatever you want uh, within reason. And if it's not illegal. So, right, I'm going to fit the, I'm going to fit the, the secondary in and we'll come back again once I've got the secondary in and we'll talk about lining the secondary up.